we are given a rod that is turned by an angle theta and then it further it's given an angular velocity theta naught dot we need to find what is the mean kinetic energy of the rod averaged over one oscillation period so first let's derive a general formula for the mean kinetic energy of oscillation over one oscillation period and then we'll use this formula directly in this particular case so for any body need not be a rod can be a disc which is rotating about its axis so any torsional shm will be of the form <coughs> theta dash is equal to theta naught dash sin omega t so theta dash is the angle turned by the body and theta naught dash is the maximum angle the body turns to so if we differentiate that we get omega dash is equal to theta naught dash omega cos omega t so kinetic energy of this body at a time t is half i omega dash square so we put that value of omega dash here and this is the energy kinetic energy of the body at a time t this is the maximum kinetic energy so that means this is the energy of oscillation so now if you want to find the average kinetic energy over one time period so what we do is k e d t upon t so limits of time is from 0 to t so this e oscillation is a constant we'll take it out and we'll get this quantity so if you solve this this comes to be half so average kinetic energy for one time period is energy of oscillation by 2 same thing applies to linear shm also so if we write these equations for linear shm you are going to get the same answer that average kinetic energy is e oscillation by 2 just try it as homework so instead of theta you will have x instead of omega dash you will have v instead of half, half i omega dash square you will have half mv square you will see that the equation comes to be same now in this problem so let's use this formula where what we need to find is e oscillation by 2 so let's find energy of oscillation that is potential energy of the body at extreme minus potential energy at equilibrium so this is not the extreme position because the body has some angular velocity so it will go here and then when it will come down it will go up to a maximum point so let's say this is the maximum point it comes to so that is the extreme position this is intermediate and this is equilibrium position so energy of oscillation is pe1 minus pe3 so this we can rewrite as PE1 minus PE2 plus PE2 minus PE3 because we know PE1 here it was at rest so PE1 minus PE2 is kinetic energy of the body right now in second condition second situation so PE1 minus PE2 is half i theta naught dot whole square and PE2 minus PE3 you can see from here that is mg into this height and what is this height this is l by 2 minus l by 2 cos theta or l by 2 1 minus cos theta so that is this so we put that here so 1 minus cos theta can be approximated to theta square by 2 and i of the body about this point is ml square by 3 so you put this these values here so you get you'll get the kinetic energy of the oscillation average kinetic energy to be energy of oscillation by 2 which will be this our answer all right.